August 6th, St. Sixtus II, Pope and Martyr. On August 6th of the year 258, Sixtus was presiding over a secret and hidden liturgy in a private cemetery when Roman officials burst in and captured the Pope and four deacons. This was during the persecutions of the Christians by Emperor Valerian. Even as this storm of persecution created by Emperor Valerian raged against the church, the papal throne was not vacant. Sixtus, a Greek, was elected to succeed Stephen. The emperor's decrees had ordered the Christians to take part in state religious ceremonies and forbade them to assemble in cemeteries. For nearly a year, Sixtus managed to evade the authorities before he was gloriously martyred. Valerian issued his second edict, ordering the execution of Christian bishops, priests, and deacons. Sixtus had taken to holding services in a private cemetery because it was not washed as closely as those larger public ones. But in the early August of year 258, while Sixtus was seated on his episcopal chair and surrounded by the brethren, the soldiers broke in, arresting Sixtus and four deacons who were in attendance. After a formal judgment where Sixtus renounced the pagan gods, he was led back to the very place where he had been arrested to face execution. His chief deacon, St. Lawrence, upon hearing the news, hastened to his side, desiring to die with the bishop. Sixtus consoled his deacon by telling him that he would follow in three days with even greater glory. The soldiers then placed Sixtus in his chair and swiftly beheaded him. True to the great Pope's words, St. Lawrence was arrested three days later and executed the same day. The remains of Sixtus were transferred by the Christian faithful to the papal crypt in the neighboring cemetery of St. Callistus. Behind his tomb was enshrined the blood-stained chair on which he had been beheaded. Who are we beholden to in this life, and just how serious are we about defending them with our own lives? More to it, when the going gets particularly tough, are we hopeful in our prayer that we will have enough courage to preserve? Do we recognize that the Lord is the divine ruler of all things, and thus will help us through those moments when the situation is bleakest? Let's ask St. Sixtus today to give us the courage and the strength to persevere when things get tough.